Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today we're going to be doing a Master Duel in our Festival Yasinju deck profile. So I'm really excited this week, guys, because this deck is a fantastic deck to play during the NR Festival, because Yasinjus are such a powerful deck. Being able to swarm the field with a single normal summon is absolutely insane. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like getting your name in the description of single video, getting assigned cards to the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron, along with test hands. So, without further ado, Let's get straight on in this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Yusinju, comma, one. This card is a great three of in the deck that has the ability, if this card is normal summon, you can normal summon an additional Yusinju from your hand, except another copy of itself. And it also has the ability, if you control another Yusinju monster, then you can target a card on your opponent's side of the field and return it to the hand, which is an extremely powerful effect. But during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned, you return to the hand. This card is an extremely powerful card in the deck and one of the best Yusinju monsters. We then play three copies of Yusinju, comma, two. This card is a great three of the deck that has the ability that if this card is normal summoned, you can normal summon an additional Yusinju to your side of the field. And it also has the ability that if this card, this card can attack your opponent directly. And if it does inflict half damage to your opponent, but during the end phase, return this card to your hand, which is a really powerful effect to be able to do 900 points of damage. We then play three copies of Yusinju, comma, three. Comma, three is the searcher of the deck. So it's an absolute three of that has the ability if this card is normal summon you can immediately after this card resolves normal summon a yusinju monster from your hand except another copy of itself and when another yusinju monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent you can add a yusinju card from your deck to your hand except another copy of comma three and you can only use the effect of this card once per turn and then during the end phase return this card to your hand these are really powerful monsters that basically are just going to swarm the board every single turn and then return to your hand during the end phase to be able to swarm the board again next turn. We then play three copies of Yusinju Izana. Izana is a great card for the deck as well because it has the ability to once per turn. During the end phase, if this card was normal summoned, return to the hand, and you can only use each of the following effects this card once per turn. That you can discard this card, and then this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards and effects when a Yusinju monster is normal or special summon, or it has the ability that if you control another Yusinju monster, you can draw a card, which is a really good effect. We then play three copies of Yusinju Sujik, which is pretty much a battle trap for the deck that has the ability that during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned this turn, return it to the hand. And you can only use each of the following effects this card once per turn, that during either player's turn, or during either player's damage step, when a Yusinju monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can discard this card, and that monster that you control gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn. And it also has the ability that you can target a Yusinju monster on the field, and it gains a thousand attack until the end of the turn if this card is on the field which is a great effect to just be able to boost your monsters up to go in for really powerful damage we then play three copies of battle fader since all of our yusinju monsters are going to return to the hand you do need some way to be able to protect yourself during the next turn so i found battle fader and it's a really really good card because it has the ability that when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack you can special summon this card from your hand and then in the battle phase which is a really good effect to be able to just stop the opponent from going in from game we then play three or two copies of gandarla the mystery dust kaiju this card is a great two because with comma one you can just bounce it back to your hand and then kaiju your opponent again which is really really nice for this deck so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells so for the spells, we're going to be playing three copies of Dimensional uh, Fisher. Dimensional Fisher is a great three of in the deck because it has the ability that any monster sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead, which a lot of decks are going to want to get their cards into the graveyard instead of banished, which is very good for this deck because we don't really mind if any of our cards get banished, but decks like Gadgets and Megalith that are going to be running around are going to want to get their cards in the graveyard. We then play three copies of Mystical Space Typhoon. Mystical space typhoon is really good because this card is basically a one for one pop that you can pop one of your opponents back row which is just really good during the nr festival we then play three copies of forbidden chalice forbidden chalice is a great three of as well because it can negate monster effects it does boost them up by 400 but negating that monster effect is always really good so that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps 
So for the traps, we're going to be playing two copies of Yasinju Sword Sting. Sword Sting is a really good card in this deck because it has the ability that if you control no monsters, you're going to reveal two Yasinju monsters, up to two Yasinju monsters with different names in your hand, and then target the same number of face-up cards your opponent controls and return to them hand. Basically being a double compulsory evacuation device, which is really, really good. We then play three copies of Lost Wind, which is going to be one of the most powerful cards during the NR Festival because it has an insane insanely powerful effect and it's double use because it has the ability to target a face up special summon monster on the field and it has its effects negated and half its attack points and if a face up or if a monster is special summoned from your opponent's extract while this card's in the graveyard except during the damage step you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field being able to use this card twice to be able to reduce an opponent's monster down by half while also negating its effects which is extremely powerful we then play three copies of fiendish chain fiendish chain is a great three of as well in this type because it has the ability that when you activate this card you target a face-up effect monster on the field and negate that monster's effect while it's face up on the field and then while this card is basically targeting that monster it can't attack which is a really good effect to basically be able to stop an opponent's monster from attacking and negate its effects because if your opponent puts a really powerful monster on the field and tries to attack us directly this card can basically stop that which is really good we then play three copies of torrential tribute torrential tribute is one of the most powerful cards in this entire deck because it has the ability that when an opponent's monster is summoned or when a monster is summoned at all you destroy all monsters on the field and since our yusinjus bounce themselves back to the hand during the end phase this card is basically just going to destroy your opponent's monsters which is really good leaving us open to be able to go in for game on the following turn this card is single-handedly one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck so that's it for the traps guys and the main deck let's get into the the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of number 50, Black Ship of Corn. This card is a good two of the deck because it has the ability that once per turn, you can detach a material from this card and then target one face of monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this card and send it to the graveyard. And if you do, inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent, but this card can't attack this turn. It's a really powerful effect to be able to out a card and also do a thousand points of damage by just detaching material from this card. We then play two copies of number 70. Number 70 is a good card as well because it is a 2400 attack point monster that has the ability to basically banish a card that basically what it does is is once per turn you can detach a material from this card and then target one monster your opponent controls and banish it into your opponent's next standby phase which is a really good effect to be able to just bounce or basically banish a card to get it off the field so you can go in for some damage and also has the ability that during the, um at the end of the damage step if this card attacked you can make this card gain 300 attack points and if you you do increase its rank by three boosting it all the way up to 2700 which is pretty good we then play two copies of gem knight pearl because it is a 2600 attack point rank four which is pretty good we then play a single copy of number 57 try head dust dragon this card is a one of in the deck and is pretty good because it has the ability that while the, when this card is special summoned then you can target one monster your opponent controls and this card gains attack equal to the monster's current attack which this card already has 100 points so it will be 100 points higher than the highest attack point monster that your opponent has on the field which is pretty good and you get to keep the attack points it also has the ability that if your opponent controls more cards than you do, you can detach a material from this card and then choose one unused monster zone or spell and trap card zone. And then while this card is facing on the field, that zone cannot be used, which is a pretty good effect to basically lock down link arrows and also lock down pendulum scales, which is really good with this card. We then play a single copy of number 52, Diamond Crab King. This card is a good one of in the deck because it has the ability to once per turn detach a material on this card and changes cards defense to zero and if you do change its attack to 3000 these changes last until the end of the turn and if this card attacks it's changed the defense position at the end of the battle phase and if this card is attacked change it to attack position at the end of the damage step and if it has no xz materials which is a pretty good effect to be able to just throw this card in defense position as a 3000 defense point monster or put it in attack position to go in for 3000 damage which is really good we then play a single copy of gaga Ga samurai because it can attack multiple times 
items, one copy of number 82 because it can attack your opponent directly, which is a really good effect, one copy of Photon Papal Operative. This card is really good if your opponent's putting monsters in defense position because it has the ability to once per turn detach a material from this card and then target a defense position monster on the field and change it to face up attack position if you do it loses 600 attack points, which is pretty good. Play a single copy of Super Quantal Mech Beast Aeroboros. Aeroboros is decent for that because it's basically a Book of Moon that has the ability to once per turn detach a material from this card and then target one other face up monster on the field and change it to face down defense position, which is pretty good. One copy of Crazy Box. Crazy Box is a super interesting card for this type because it is a 3000 attack point monster but it can't attack. It has the ability that this card can't attack and then once per turn, detach a material from this card, roll it six sided die, and then apply the effect based on the result. If you roll a one, you half your life points. If you roll a two, you get to draw a card. If you roll a three, your opponent discards a card. If you roll a four, negate the effects of one face up mon or one face up card on the field to the end of the turn. Even if you roll a five, destroy one card on the field. And if you roll a six, destroy this card. This card is a pretty good one of in the deck because it does help out as a 3000 attack with monster that you can just throw on the field and basically use it as a monster that your opponent is not going to get over. We then play a single copy of Burner Visor. Burner Visor is a good one of as well because it has the ability to once per turn you can either target a face of XZ monster you control and equip this card to it or unequip it in special summon in attack position. And the equipped monster can attack your opponent's life points directly. And when the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can discard one card and inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent, which is pretty good. We then play a single copy of number 80 rhapsody and berserk this card is a good card because it can equip itself to one of your other xz monsters and make it go up by 1200 attack points which is a pretty good effect so that's it for the deck guys i hope you did enjoy it it's a really fun deck to be able to play with especially during the nr festival because this deck is actually going to be one of the most powerful ones in my opinion because these sinjus have always been just a really powerful fun deck to be able to just swarm the field with all sorts of really powerful monsters and back it up with spells and traps so anyways guys Guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.